Um, hello everybody, I'm going to solve problem 3.25 on page 103. Uh, this should hopefully be able uh, to help you guys to use the least square regression method to derive the trend equation which you will need for uh, to solve the last problem in your assignments. I'm just going to read the problem out. Uh, the following gives the number of accidents that occurred in Florida State Highway 101 during the last four months. So we have the data, the data here seems to be increasing. Uh, we need to forecast the number of accidents that will occur in May using the least square regression or uh, to derive a trend equation. All right, so uh, first of all, we need to... All right, let me just explain what the question wants us to do. So what I can do is just show you a scatter plot on a chart. Um, let's go with that. All right, so Basically, this is the current information we have for the first four months. The trend seems to be increasing. Um, only God knows why the number of accidents are going up. But our job is to derive the equation that will best... The equation of, of the straight line. It's a linear equation that best um, suits all these four data points. And hopefully be able to use that same equation to derive its uh, y value at the uh, fifth month, somewhere between 100 and 120 is my guess. All right, so let's get on to it. Hopefully you guys remember uh, the equation of a straight line from your um, mathematics class back uh, in grade 10. So it's y equals to mx, m, x plus c. In this particular equation, uh, m represents the slope of the line, and c represents the uh, y-intercept. So, hopefully, you guys should should have remembered this from your uh, math class back in SLC or your uh, recently taken stat class. Now, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to try to use the months as my x value because I'm going to use that in my horizontal axis. My vertical axis is going to be the number of accidents. And the formula, I'm not going to uh, put you through the torture of having to derive this uh, equation or this formula. But basically, to derive the slope, this is the formula that we use. The formula is in your book uh, somewhere. You can look through your chapters and uh, figure it out. If not, it basically is the sum of x times y minus the minus n times the mean of x times the mean of y the whole thing divided by the sum of x squared minus n times the mean of x squared so it's it looks kind of intimidating but it's really a simple formula so let me just uh, show you how it's done all right so we the, the values we need here are x times y, obviously, and x squared. I think that should be enough, yep. All right, so x, uh, I'm just going to use a numerical value for the month. So January would be 1, Feb would be 2, March would be 3, April would be 4. Our number of accidents are 30, 40, 60, and 90 x times y is simple enough. I'm going to use Excel here. Same case for x squared. Alright, let me sum all these up. Sum of x. There you go. And let me also average uh, these out to find out the mean. Oops. All right, the mean would be divided by the number, which is four for the whole thing. All right, great. Now let's plug these values uh, to this equation, into this equation. So the slope would be. 
uh, the sum of x, uh, the sum of x times y, which is 650. So let's put that there. 650 minus um, okay, minus we have n, which is 4 times the mean of x, which is 2.5 times the mean of y, which is 55. So let me close that up. The whole thing divided by the sum of x squared, which is 7.5 minus n, which is 4, times x squared. So the sorry x the mean of uh, the square of the mean so the mean would be 2.5 squared so hopefully you guys understood this all right it looks a little complicated in excel i kind of agree with you there what Uh, that really shouldn't have been negative. Let me just let me see where I made a mistake. Um, H11. Sorry, this should be H10. Because it's it's the sum of x squared. Yeah, not the mean. Anyways, 20. Okay, there, that's that's a better value for the uh, for the slope. Anyway, so the value of the slope, which is m in this case, is 20. Now we can plug m into this equation to, to figure out the value of c. So for example, the mean of y uh, in this is going to be basically, so we have a uh, all right, this is really hard to do this, do this in Excel. So the, basically, we have y, which is y bar 55, equals m, which is 20, times x. So times x, which is 2.5, plus c. So we can use this equation to figure out the value of c which is going to be 5. I don't know, is that correct? Let's see, will be equal to 5. Mm, 20 to 155. Yeah, so basically the value of C is 5. So the equation of the line would end up being y equals 20x plus 5. So that's the equation of the line that they asked us to derive. Now we can use this equation to derive the number of accidents that we think is going to happen in May. So May is month 5, so that would be y equals 20 times 5 plus 5. Therefore, the number of accidents y would be 105. So, using uh, the least square method, our predicted number of accidents in May is 105. So, hopefully you guys got it. I know this was a bit confusing. So, feel free to ask uh, questions in class uh, regarding this. And uh, try to solve the question, uh, the last question in the assignment. Alright guys, see you later.